Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to do a taper on a knife handle. Uh, the way I do it is I start off with a regular straight blade and I drill all the holes out. It's lightening up the handle some, but it also removes some of the metal that you need to do when you taper the tang. So it does double, double duty. Also, when the knife gets lightweight, lighter weight in the handle, you're going to take some of the blade out when you start grinding it anyway, and then you add the handle on. This really helps to balance the knife. Plus, it adds a nice little touch to have a tapered tang. It gives it a little bit of class. Anyway, so I still have my pinholes already ready to go for, uh, for the handle. But I also have this little device that I made. It's just a piece of black walnut with a brass pin. And the brass pin actually goes... I can make it do it. It goes into the hole. Um, I never use the forward hole, I always use the backside hole, or the, the pommel end of the knife. Um, so, the nice thing about my knife sander, after I get my flat plantain set up, uh, and by the way, my flat plantain is a uh, fireplace glass that's been epoxied on with JB Weld. Uh, and you can see here the pin, I have the pin on each side there, that uh, gives it a little bit of security uh, when I'm grinding on it so that it's just a little more stable. Uh, okay, so my belt is, side, is uh, center to center, and all I have to do is tilt my sander over on the hinges. Make sure that you're with me here. I don't have a very good camera, so you'll have to forgive me. Uh, there we go, I'll tune you in a little bit so you can see. All right. Uh, so, when you get started, uh, before I actually uh, do the grinding, you're going to be holding the blade. See if I can see. Yeah. You're going to be holding the blade and then the, uh, the handle that I made against the sander. And you can see that my fingers are away from the sanding belt. And I use my fingertips here because the, the sanding belt actually uh, deviates away from the belt. I'm sorry, away from the flat platen. So, you can see I have plenty of space here for my fingers. <clears throat> and then I can actually apply pressure this way and I can apply a pressure this way so that I get a nice even grind across my knife handle. Here we go. You want to check early on to make sure that you're not too high on one side. As you can see, I need to apply more pressure on this down side.
as you can see, my hollow, when I did the relieving, does not come up past my integral guard, but it does come all the way down to my edge, uh, my two scribe lines. So I still have a little bit more to go here, uh, and I do want my flat sanding to come up past the integral guard, because when I go to flat sand uh, the uh, ricasso and of uh, the blade, uh, that's going to actually move the grind back. So when I put my handles on, my handles don't have a big uh, gap either way. Okay, as you can see, I've ground past my hollow at the pommel, and I've ground past my integral guard. It's nice and level on each side. I still have some hollow grind in the middle on both sides, so I've uh, left out a little bit more metal. And as you can see, let's see if I can bring it up here for you to notice, I have a pretty nice even taper all the way up the handle to the guard. fairly thin, which is exactly what I want. What happens is when you put the handle on and you start grinding the handle back onto the blade, you're going to grind a little bit of the blade away, so this is going to get thicker the more you grind it down towards the, the hand guard. So um, take this on down to you know fairly thin, I'd say a 32nd of an inch or maybe a 16th, but you know the thinner you get it when you get your handles on, it'll look nice and uh, it'll look classy and, and nice, so there you go. That's how to taper the tang of a full tang knife. Thanks.